Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to do a melting effects in After Effects. So I have my scene here, I have my text and I have this pre-com background, which is just this background. So if we go inside this pre-com background, I'm just gonna show you real quick. So there's the orange background and then there's this yellow ground and then there's this animated so cool. And you can download this project file which includes this pre-com background and I've put the link in the description below. Now let's go back to the main comp. And the first thing you want to do is you want to separate the letters. In order to do that, just right click on your text and then go to create, create shapes from text. And then I'm gonna duplicate this three times so that it creates four layers. And I'm gonna name this one by one by each of the letters. Now I'm gonna delete the rest of the letters that's inside this layer. Like for example, on the M layer, I'm gonna select everything and then deselect the M and then delete it. And then same with this, select everything, deselect the E. And then delete the rest of them. So that they all now in its separate layer. I have this plugin called Motion Tools, which I grabbed from Motion Design School. And they have this tool where you can just move your anchor point. So I'm gonna select this top bit so that the anchor point goes on top of each lettuce. Now I want to animate the position and rotation. So hit P and R on all of the letters and then create a keyframe and then move to one second somewhere there and then create another keyframe. Now we want to bring all of the letters down, maybe somewhere there and then just animate the end rotation however you want it. Maybe something like that, something like that. Maybe bring the L even lower and I'm gonna select everything and hit F9 to easy ease it. Let's have a look. I'm actually gonna edit this easy ease on graph editor. So I'm gonna select all of the end keyframes and just drag that handle all the way to the left so that it kind of like slows down at the end. All right, I feel that that's a bit too far, so I'm going to select the end keyframe and just kind of like drag it a bit longer. Yeah, that feels better. Now, we want to create a matte layer. Inside the pre-com background, we already have this ground layer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this and then paste it in the main comp. And then bring it down to the bottom, turn it off, name this matte, and then go to your effects and presets. Look for set mat, and then we're gonna start on the M layer first. Now we wanna set the take mat from layer mat, which is in this case layer seven. If you drag your playhead along, as you can see, it kind of like cuts there because that's where the mat is. And what you wanna do is to just invert the mat so that it just kind of like cut when the text goes down. Now I want to copy this and paste it to the rest of the letters as well. Now if you go to the very first of the composition, as you can see the mat is cutting our text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move down the mat layer until all of my letters are visible. Let's have a look again. Yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to pre-comb all of the letters and as well as the mat not the background, so everything except the background. Let's pre-comb this and let's name this text melt. I'm gonna change the layer color to something else. And then let's go inside the text melt. I'm gonna turn off this transparency grid. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create this kind of like melted effect, which is kind of like the puddle. So just grab your pen tool and make sure you're not selecting on any of the layers and Make sure also your fill is white. You can change the color later, but for now, let's just stick to white. And I'm gonna create a really rough puddles. Something like that. That looks like a puddle. 
All right. I'm gonna also change this layer color to something else so that we know that it's a different thing. I'm gonna name this puddle. Now let's have a look at all of the keyframes that we have. All right, now we wanna animate this puddle. So tap U two times and animate the path layer. Now we wanna start the puddle to be like really thin. So I'm going to bring this up. And then at the end keyframe, it's going to be kind of like leaking. Kind of like that. I'm going to easy ease this. I'm going to go to the graph editor again. And I'm going to grab the last handle and drag it along all the way to the left so it slows down at the end. Now, I want to offset the letters actually, so I'm just going to grab the ELT and I'm just going to move it two or three frames. It's really up to you on how you want to do this. Just a little bit offsetting and then make sure that the first keyframe of the puddle only starts on M. So what I meant is just scale that down and just cover the M because the M is going to be the one that melts first. Now let's have a look again. Yeah. That's looking much better. Now you want to create an adjustment layer. So new adjustment layer and just type in um, melting effect. And then look for Gaussian blur. Now let's create a keyframe on the blurriness on the very first frame. On the two second, we create another keyframe. And this is gonna be like really up to you, but I'm gonna put, oh, maybe that's a bit too much. Maybe put 100. Next thing is to put levels on the adjustment layer. And then you wanna make sure to change the channel to alpha. What you wanna do is to drag this start and end pointers all the way to the middle or like close to each other just so that it's really contrasted like that. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it's melting. I want you to select all of the layers and hit U so that we see all of the keyframes. And because at the moment it starts to melt straight away, but what I wanna do, I wanna have like a little bit of pause at the start so that it doesn't melt straight away. So maybe, like around 13 frames. Grab all of the keyframes and move that to start around there. Another thing I want to do is to also cut this adjustment layer where the first keyframe is. So in order to do that, just hold Alt and open square bracket. Actually, I want to do the same with the puddle. And as you can see, like with the puddle, it just kind of like appears like that out of nowhere. So I'm going to adjust the puddle a little bit. The other thing that I want to do is I want to adjust the levels a little bit on the adjustment layer. Because at the moment, our text looks like it's a bit staggered. So I'm just going to adjust that away from each other a little bit. And now it looks a bit better. Let's go back to the main comp. I think the only thing is that at the end, you can see that the puddle is a bit fuzzy. So let me see if I can fix that. I think all you need to do is just to adjust this level again. It's kind of like you have to play around with it to get the look that you want. So it's not too staggered, but also it's not too blurry. I think that should be fine. Let's go back here. And yeah, you got your melted text effect now thanks so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and if you create something by using my tutorial feel free to tag me on instagram at high.animotion and you can also use the hashtag hash high animation thanks so much guys bye